Welcome back to FS22 Bloomfield, Canada, everybody. Uh, at the end of last episode, I was getting started on some fertilizing contracts. Um, I was able to finish all those, and you, know, you can see we're up to like $83,000. Um, it's getting towards, getting a little dark out um, towards the end of the day, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next day. Um, before I do that, I wanted to show, I guess I've checked that, I wanted to show you what I was thinking in terms of balers. Um, actually, I don't know if I talked about this or not, but either way, you're going to see it again. So I was going to, I was looking for this Massey Ferguson. Um, yes, I did show it. And then I wanted to get a red foil, so that's 84000 We're just below that right now. Um, and then I want to get this Anderson, um, I guess just a bale pickup, um, just automatically picks up the bales. I think it'll be good to have to make things um, a little more neat, kind of keep the bales probably over there by the big field. Probably makes the most sense. So that's another 50 grand. So we need about 100 and round it up to like 135,000 to get both of those um, so hopefully we get some new contracts here in the new day let's do let's do seven sometimes when I do eight o'clock the contracts start to disappear as I'm looking at them because I think it's like oh it's raining there's like turnover at that time for some reason so let's look. Okay, there's nothing. Let me try to hit this new contracts button a few times. No. Okay, I don't know if we're going to get any contracts today. And I am exposed to the elements. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to work on. I think I might just be skipping ahead to another new day. Um, let me turn the grass on so we can see it. Um, both fields are fertilized. So, yeah, let's just go to April. In April, you can plant things like corn, soybeans, and... I think it was sorghum. So if there's any fields left, it'll probably be one of those three. Um, when I looked before, there weren't too many empty fields. There's 45 is empty, 40, the big one, 22. Not too much else. Uh, let's check the contracts. Hey, we got contracts. Let's take all the fertilizing. Before they disappear. Oh, so many weeding. Um, I'm gonna use the mouse here. I'm gonna take off the weeding. I don't want to do any of that. The bailing. I feel like that could be good, but not yet. I don't have a tether, but I will need to get one at some point if I'm gonna do hay for my cows. Um, but again, I don't like those methods of picking up the bales. Um, so I'd rather have my you know, automatic bale picker up for first. Looks like contracts are changing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and jump to the tractor. Where are we going? 14, 52, and 23. See if I can squeeze through here. Yes. And right onto a field. Well, I'm already in the field, might as well just go over it at this point. All 
Right, so I like when I'm on a contract field, I like to have kind of this view because um, you can kind of see how many fertilizing contracts might be coming up. So it looks like 22 has been planted since it's, for, well, I guess that doesn't necessarily mean it's planted, but um, there's only a few fields that haven't been fertilized at all. Um, and most of the fields are double fertilized. So there's not going to be, it's not like we're going to have fertilizing contracts for too much longer, um, especially if I keep accepting them to take them. Um, but they, they do bring in some pretty good money. I mean, I'm getting almost 30,000, 25,000 ish. No, about 30,000 from this. which will definitely be enough to get the baler. Um, not that we really need it yet. The grass should be in its first growth state. Can you check that? Look at the color. Yep, it's pretty dark. Technically, in May, it'll show ready to harvest, but as I mentioned before, I'm going to wait till the third growth. Um, so one more month, so that'll be June before we before we harvest it. Okay, so I am done with field 52. Uh, a few other fertilized contracts came up. Turn that one in. Um, so I took those. One of them was right next to us, 57. Um, and I've been thinking about it just while doing the last field. And I think I'm going to actually even though i just said i wasn't i'm gonna do these bailing contracts and just buy the the bail loader that i want first um because it's not until june that we need the baler anyways and i do want to have both at that point anyways so if i buy this it allows me to do the bailing contracts now and potentially in the future when when you know the grass on those fields grows back so i think i'm just going to go ahead and get this uh, tires do i want i'm just stick with michelin that looks good another big purchase and then the contracts i take i want to make sure the baler is what I want. So I think these are all going to be round. So this one's for silage. So I'm going to need to get that to get the bale wrapper. Or I can just hold off on that one for now and just do the three for tedding. I think I do that. So I will borrow from that one. Accept. Accept. Alright, I have a worker on this to get going on that. Let's get over and mow some fields. The nice thing is there's one right next to us to start with. go definitely going to need to ted this with the mower spreading all the grass around like that So I think once we cut this field, 
I'm just going to take this and go and cut all the fields um, and just kind of work at it one, um, just using like one piece of machinery at a time. Um, until we get to the point where the, you know, our tractor that is currently doing the fertilizer um, is not doing fertilizer anymore, then we can kind of use that for um, maybe just picking up the bales at the end. I think that's probably the point we're going to be at by the time we get to there. So just kind of check to see where he's at. Not a huge fan of this this mower combination. Um, kind of like the butterfly ones that go on both sides. It's just easier to for me to maneuver rather than everything being, you know, to the right essentially. But it's just a contract field, so I guess it doesn't need to look the prettiest, I suppose. As long as we get it done. And we're only 40000 away from buying our baler, so it's not too far away. I think we should almost definitely be able to get there by possibly even today. Um, if not, definitely by June, um, when we get to the point for cutting our own grass. And then in June, I believe some of the kind of harvesting contracts will start to come up, um, and we can start to start to do those again. Yeah, I think from now on, um, I'll probably just stick to, I guess now, baling, um, fertilizing, and probably harvesting contracts. Um, the sewing contracts aren't bad, um, and actually now that I say that, I might want to do some sewing contracts because I bought uh, a bunch of seed um, that's still sitting around at the store that I thought I was going to need for all the contracts I did and ended up not needing nearly that much so I have like way too much seed I know we'll probably use it on our own farm eventually but um, you know at that point by the time we get to that point we're probably not going to even need the seed as much anyways so so yeah I might take some sewing contracts at the beginning of next year just to um, just to use up that seed. Let's get these folded. I am going to try not to spin out. I'm going to send you up. So where are we going? We're going to three and nine. And eight is the silage one if we want to do that. Let's go over to three. See if we can make it there. I want to go to. Yeah, I figured you were probably done. Are you done with the contract? Oh, is this another one? Cool. Take it. Alright, so no. 94. So you are not done. You just think you're done. Can't get good work these days. All right, let's try to save a little bit. Hopefully just this little strip will do it. I don't think so, 97, 98. Not quite. There's some spots over here that were missed. That little one.
Come on. I don't want to have to drive to the other side. Looks like I might have to. Yep. Okay. No, there's some spots on the other side that I missed. Or that he missed. He or she missed, I suppose. Yep, there's some. I think we're going to 14. Yeah, let's go up to. F Actually, no. Let's go over to 45 since it's right across the street. Then I'll go up to 14, and then I'll go over to 23, and then I have to loop around and go to 40. I'm dri driving, looking at the mini map. Or the map that I made big and almost crashing into trees. Probably not a good thing. Alright. Keep me going. Let's see where this guy is. Perfect. Right at the spot where he usually spins out. Take over. Get this unfolded and ready while we're driving down this road. This kind of corner up here wouldn't be too bad. I mean, it is the starting farm area um, where you would start if you started in New Farmer. Classic, taking out signs. A little bit bigger field than the other one I think money wise they all paid out pretty much the same you do get a decent amount of it seems like when you do harvesting contracts you I think they make it so you get like you only have to harvest 95 percent of it so essentially you get five percent of the field to keep as like your own I think I need to harvest the the opposite direction. Now let's do that. Let's go this way. But with bailing contracts, it seems like you get more. Um, I've done fields before where it'll make like, say like 10 bales off the entire field. And the contract's done by 5 or 6. Um, just like barely half or barely more than half and it's enough um, so yeah you can actually get for some pretty decent money from what's left over from bailing contracts especially if it's uh, silage I don't think I'm going to really bother holding on to the bales um, to make some money off that just because there's so many things we need to get. I kind of want to get um, get our money as fast as possible, if that makes sense. So I don't really want to have to wait until December to make all of our money from, from contract builds, at least. Um, for the bales that we take off our own field, I'm going to hold on to them until it's the best time to sell. sell. Just because I think that's... You know, that makes the most sense. But, I mean, with the contract fields, it's, it's usually only a few bales per field. So, I don't think the, the extra waiting is too much worth it. And, you know, silage isn't the most expensive thing you can sell in this store. So, but I don't know. We're... we're, we're no, I changed my mind a lot, as you've probably already seen. I did at least once in this episode so far, so yeah, we'll kind of see how it goes. And it always it always depends on how 
how everything kind of works out, how the sales come up, um, which, speaking of, yeah, it's just the John Deere corn header that I don't need. Just had to double check that I checked that. Yeah, so, uh, we're see yeah, we're kind of see how this goes and where we need to make more money to see if what we're doing is working and if we need to change anything. And again, if you guys have any comments, um, anything you would, you think I should do, um, to kind of get this going a little bit better, please let me know. Um, I'm open to, you know, change things around depending on what you guys want to see. So, yeah, please leave me a comment. Let me know. feel like I'm finally getting the hang of this mower. Grass field's bigger than it looks on the map. It's kind of an awkward shape, though. Um, for for me using workers as much as I do, it's probably no surprise that I like um, fields that are as rectangle as possible. It's just a lot easier. To have the the workers you work on those fields um, less problems less having to you know kind of check their work uh, I don't know why I'm a perfectionist I have to get that it's not gonna make a difference but Drive over to, I think, field nine now. Check on our fertilizing contract. Which one was he doing? 45? Oops. I'm pressing the wrong button. Fold that back up. Yeah, he got stuck. Do a little headland here. I mean, perfectly square field, but of course there's trees on the end, so that can screw them up too. I know there's mods out there like course play and different things like that you can do on the computer. Um, I don't I'm playing on the computer now mainly just for the making of this video uh, I haven't completely figured out how I would like to do videos on my Xbox yet but I do have this game bought with all the expansions on my Xbox um, I just can't currently play them without getting at least decent resolution um, on the computer so for now I'm just kind of sticking to kind of the base game kind of stuff um, with the hopes of eventually getting some videos recorded on my Xbox and we can kind of do some of the there's some different packs that have come out that I've kind of wanted to use um, the Kubota pack has been out for a very long time um, and I haven't I haven't used too much of those tractors um, there was recently a it's called like the hay and hay and something pack I forget exactly what it was to be honest um, but you know as as the name implies it's kind of more geared, geared to grass work kind of like what we're doing right now so I would like to get that at some point too 
or actually I do have it already on my Xbox, but I would like to have that in a video is what I mean. Um, I just need to think, I think the, the way to go, and please let me know if, if anyone else has tried this, but I think the way to go for Xbox would be to get a capture card, um, just bite the bullet, spend the money, and do it that way. I think that's the way I'm, I'm thinking for that, but, but this whole series, this will be on the PC, uh, pretty simple series. The the next one I'm going to do, I think I talked a little bit about, um, like an environmental focused one. Um, I'm going to do that on here as well. Um, and then probably by the time I'm done with those, I'm only going to have two going, two series going at a time. Smacking into poles. <laughs> um, once I finish one of them, probably this one first I would think. Um, since I'm not going to start that other one right away, this will probably finish first, get to my goal first. Um, then I'll probably be set up to start doing some recording on Xbox. Alright, so we are done with the mowing portion. I left it up there on field 8. Um, I think it's field 8. Yeah, just in case we decide to take that bailing contract which I think I actually might um, looking at I don't ever look when I'm going to, to drive into the street it's probably not a good thing I definitely do it in real life my real life driving is not like my driving on here just to let everyone know sorry getting sidetracked so again so yeah I was looking at my looking at the money that we have. Um, I think it is very possible, especially with these contracts, maybe even possibly just the fertilizing contracts, um, it is possible we will get enough money to get the the wrapper, the bale and wrap baler and wrapper that we want, um, which will make doing that contract a lot easier. Um, it just takes away one step since I can bale and wrap in one go. Um, and if that's the case, then, you know, we might as well take the contract to make a little extra money from it. So I think we're going to go ahead and do it. That's why I left the mower up there. Um, I just haven't taken it yet, just to, just to kind of wait and see. Um, I also noticed we're kind of getting towards the, the end, uh, my typical end time for this episode. So, um... I think I'm just going to uh, work on this a little bit in between episodes, probably getting uh, the tedding done um, and kind of jumping over to the fertilize, uh, the fertilizing person uh, just to make sure they keep shifting to the different fields, getting those contracts done, and moving right along. So uh, yeah, with that, uh, I want to thank you for, for watching today. Uh, please leave a like if you like the content. Consider subscribing if you want to see more of this. Um, and I hope I see you again next time. Have a good one.